Hey guys. My name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this isn't your first time. Either way, I'm so happy to have you. If you are new to my channel, I love to do style subscription unboxings and clothing hauls and try-ons and a little bit of lifestyle stuff in between. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see what I have coming up next. I am so excited to get into this fashion box for today. So I am kind of on a mission to try a different style box or style subscription every month in the year of 2021 for as many months as I can and while fashion is not new to me I haven't tried one this year yet so it's been a few months since my last fashion box and I thought it would be fun to see what they have for more springy styles and kind of what they might have to update my spring wardrobe a little bit so let's get into this box if you're not familiar with Fashion, it's not a subscription. Fashion is more on demand. You decide when you want to order a box and you just go onto their website, order a box, and they will send you a preview of what you're gonna get. So, so I know some people only get five items in their preview. I actually got seven, so that was great because I was able to turn down a couple of items that I didn't think would work really well for me. And then they just sent me the five that I chose. So that's the five items that are in this box. Because of that, I know what's in here. So that may be the only subscription that I ever know what's in the box. I am not a peeker. And even with Fashion, I try to just look at it that first time and then don't look at it again because I love a surprise. I do remember what's in this box so it won't be a total surprise to me but that's okay it'll be a surprise to you so it comes in this really pretty purple box with hashtag better as I am on the end I love fashion's mission so fashion is all about body positivity and loving yourself for who you are and I love that that is a really important ideal to me and I love that fashion has that as their motto so fashion also kind of stands out because all of their clothing is vegan and also for every box that gets purchased they donate a dollar to second chance dogs in New York City I'm not sure I said that correctly but they donate a dollar to a dog rescue in New York City which is awesome my dog is a rescue dog so I love <laughs> that they donate to a dog rescue so First thing at the top of my box is my return envelope so I can send back anything I don't love and don't want to keep. And then I have a little packet. This is really cute. This is Dearest Jamie, <laughs> which is adorable. And this has all of my invoice and pricing information and all of the items. What I love about Fashion, and I am going to look at my invoice because I do already know what everything costs. They do send you the prices along with the preview. So I won't show you, but they give you um, pictures of all of your items and then a list of the prices. Fashion has a really interesting discount set up, probably the best that I've seen. If you buy three or four items, you get a 25% discount. And if you buy all five items, you get a 30% discount. So that's a great discount. All right, so here is my bundle. There are some really pretty like jewel tones in here and I wanted to get this by St. Patrick's Day because I knew there was a green dress in here. So all this week I've been trying to dress in green and obviously I'm not wearing a green sweater right now, but I am excited to try this on and see if this dress is something I could wear to work for the last day or two of St. Patrick's Day week. So anyway, let's get into this bundle. All right. So the first item is this Chris and Carol tie front top. It's got a tie here at the neck, which I think is really nice. I think it's like a very classy look. It's not tied right now, but I will definitely tie it for you when I put it on. It's kind of like this very flowy black material. I love black because it's so versatile. I try not to have too much black in my closet, but it's it works with so much, <laughs> so it's hard not to. It's got a high neck in the back because it's got to work with the tie and then... Yeah, just kind of a basic top, but I do like that tie detail. Next up is this Naked Zebra, very bright pink <laughs> top. It does look a little wide here, which doesn't always work for me. I tend to have too much room here sometimes, so I'm not sure if I would have to size down in that one, but I do love the buttons there. I think that's a really cute detail. And other than that, just kind of a basic top. It does have lining in here, and that's great because then it won't be see-through. Next up is this green dress. I don't own enough green, and I don't own anything in this green tone. So I was super excited to try this one on. So this one is by Gilly. It's a wrap dress, and just looks like it's about knee length just kind of again very solid print and 
just a pretty color. Very excited to try this one on. All right, next up is this top by Paper Moon. And this is just kind of a, like a simple kind of jersey top. It's got an interesting like square neck. I will say this probably was the one thing in the box that I was like, eh, I'm not sure I'm gonna like that. I don't wear a lot of stripes, so I will have to see how that looks and if it works for my body. I, it does look a little wide and it even looked a little wide on the model. So we'll have to see how that one looks. All right, and the last thing is another dress. It's this purple dress, which I love this color. And this one is by Gilly as well. And this one has the ruching on the back. Does it have it in the front? I think it's just in the back. So that's nice because it's forgiving if you need a little bit of stretch in the back. And then in the front, it has that kind of, I don't even know what neckline you would call it, but it's kind of like a V with, I don't know, <laughs> a little angle to it. So anyway, this one does look a little see-through, so I'd probably have to wear something under it. Maybe maybe a, like a tunic length cami would be fine. So we'll see when I try it on. I do love this color though, very pretty. So anyway, let's see how everything looks. All right, if you can hear noise in the background, my son is home and he's watching videos as he's in the shower. I think he's just listening to the videos. I don't think he has his cell phone in the shower, but he's got his video on super loud in the shower. And Luna's over here to say hi. Huh. So this is the first top. It is the Paper Moon Hannah top in, and it's got three quarter length sleeves. This one, I love the color. I think it's a really pretty color, especially for spring. That's about all I love on this one. I don't love the stripes. I feel like it looks like a maternity top on me. Um, I don't like the neckline. I, that square neckline is just not really my thing. And yeah, it's just not my style. So there's the back. I think it would look really cute on somebody else. I will say that. And if I did a front tuck, it might, it definitely, you know, like becomes a little bit slimmer, which is nice but that neckline is still not my favorite neckline. So anyway, I think this one is gonna be a no, but I do love the color and I really think it's a color that works well with my skin tone. So I am kind of sad about that part. <laughs> Okay, next up is the Naked Zebra Celia, I believe, front button top. Um, I like this one way more than I thought I would, but I think I would need to size down in it, and I'll show you why. So I think it needs to go up <laughs> quite a bit here, and I think it would be adorable. I love this bright pink color. I think it's so much fun for the warmer months. I just paired it with jeans because I know I'm going to be trying that black top on next, and I just wanted to be able to differentiate <laughs> in colors but i could totally wear this with like a skirt or a pair of black pants and i think it would look adorable so i'm gonna spin for you and show you the back and i'll show you the buttons in the front they're really cute i just love that little detail but again i just need it to be a little bit smaller <laughs> Luna's going crazy over here what what i think she wants to play Anyway, I am gonna see if I can exchange this one for a smaller size. I've never tried that with fashion before, so I'm not sure how it works, but I really like the color of this and the style of it, and I just think it would be really nice for work. I think it would be really nice for summer too, just wearing with like a little pair of shorts. It's just super pretty, and that bright color just really stands out. Okay, so next up is the uh, Chris and Carol Adina sleeveless tie front top. This is interesting. It actually doesn't look quite as good on me as it did on the model. It kind of looks more like a tie, so I'm not really sure if I'm doing it wrong <laughs> or what, but I do like the length of this. I think it is more flowy on the bottom, which I tend to think that a lot of the styles from fashion do that they're kind of more flowy and I tend to like a more fitted look but this one you can make more fitted by doing a little bit of a front tuck I'll give you a little spin so you can see how long it is in the back it goes you know about almost to the bottom of the bottom and then I'll give you a little bit of a closer look on the tie detail here it's really pretty and I feel like it's very classy I just have to figure out if I can wear it correctly so it looks a little bit better on me so anyway, I'll pull this out again so you can see what it looks like. I can hear the static in this one. I have such a problem with static cling. <laughs> I know I can like spray stuff, but I don't usually. 
Um, and usually it's okay at my house and then I get to work and there's like static everywhere. <laughs> so it must be something about my workplace that's just a, a magnet for static. So anyway, that's this one, the Chris and Carol top. Let me know what you guys think about this tie. I could leave it untied too, I guess. But I really couldn't <laughs> because then the ties hang down. I like the way that looks without the ties though. So anyway, all right, on to the next piece. All right, next up is this dress by Gilly. I really love the color of this dress. I think the style is really nice too. I will say it is pretty see-through, so I am wearing a cami under and also a pair of bike shorts <laughs> because it is definitely more transparent kind of on the bottom. So anyway, here is the top. I really like this. I think it's such a feminine neckline. And then like I almost feel like a princess in this dress. <laughs> and then the sleeves... I don't really know how to explain them, but they're just a little bit loose. So they almost feel like they could come off your shoulders, but um, they're not coming off. They're staying where they belong. And then you can see the ruching in the back, but you can also see that I'm wearing the cami in the back. So you could probably get away with wearing just a bra on top and maybe some bike shorts or something on the bottom, just so it's not see-through on the bottom. But here's the side and the back again, just a little spin. I just feel very girly in this dress. So this one is a definite contender. I almost feel like I could go down a size. So I don't know. It's definitely, if it's correctly right here in kind of the rib cage area, just maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Either way, let me know what you guys think. I really like the color. So let's move on to the last dress, which is also by Gilly. All right, so here's the last dress, also by Gilly. I love this green color. So here it is a little bit closer up. It's almost like a shamrock green. It's such a pretty green, and it's definitely not something I have in my closet at the moment. I kept on the cami and the bike shorts just because I did feel like this one was a little sheer as well. This one has a little tie wrap, which is cute, and I think it's a really nice style. I love the neckline. Let me do a spin for you. I also love the sleeves. I love that they're like, I don't know, almost like half sleeves, but they're close enough to the body so that they are, you know, not gonna get in the way if I need to wear a cardigan, which I always wear cardigans <laughs> with dresses like this because I'm cold all the time. So I'm gonna back up and show you. I just paired this with some cute little flats that I got from a Stitch Fix box. They are just some report leopard print shoes and I think they're cute with this dress because they've got the browns and the tans that look good with greens I think. Anyway let me know what you guys think. Does green work okay with my skin tone? It's not a color I wear very often and I'm not really sure if that's because I don't think it looks good with my skin or if it's just not a color I'm drawn to. Green is my favorite color <laughs> so why I don't have more of it in my wardrobe I have no idea. Anyway that's the dress. Let's go do a quick recap and check the prices. All right, guys, let's check out the prices. I did keep the dress on. They're calling it a Kelly green, which makes way more sense than shamrock green. So we're going to call it Kelly green. <laughs> so let's start with this top. So this was the Paper Moon Hannah three quarter sleeve top. And this one full price was $38. So the 25% discount was $28.50. I won't be keeping this one just because of the neckline and the, the wideness kind of at the bottom cute color though. I really liked the color. All right, next up was this Chris and Carol black top with the tie at the neck, which I really liked the idea of, but for some reason I just couldn't get that tie to look like I wanted it to look. So this one was also $38 with a discount of $28.50 if you buy three items. So I think I'll be sending this one back as well just because I'm, I don't know that I could get the tie top to look like I'd want it to look. I really liked the way it looked without the tie at all, but the tie is like an integral part of the top. You couldn't just cut the ties off. So it's like, you know, it's part of the collar. So anyway, that one's going to go back as well. Next up was this naked zebra top. I am going to tell you when I first saw this in my preview, there were two other items that I really didn't think would look good on me. Then there was this and I thought, eh, I don't know about this one. This one... I don't think it'll look great on me. I'll put it in there because I like the color. I loved the way this one looked. <laughs> so I'm really glad this one was in the preview so that I could choose it. So this one is $39. The buy three discount, which I might be getting, we'll have to see, would be $29.25. So that's 
that top but the only caveat with this one is that I would have to be able to exchange it for an extra small it's just too big in the size small so next up is this ghillie dress in the purple which I just thought was so pretty I just thought this was just made me feel royal and like a princess <laughs> so I guess that means it has to stay right this one is $41 so not a bad price at all for a dress and the 25% off discount is $30.75 so putting that in the most likely pile. I still need to send pictures of all of these to my daughter. I send pictures to her at college because she's not here to critique them for me while I have them on. So the last dress was this Kelly Green dress from Gilly. This one was $54 full price and with a 25% discount would be $40.50. So if I kept all three of these items that are my favorites, it would be about $100. So that's a really good price for three great items. But I want to know what you guys think. Would you keep any of these? Do you feel like they look okay on me? Does this green, does this green look okay? I don't know why it's a color I don't have anything of in my closet, but I did really like those three items. So the total for everything, the subtotal for full price everything, would be $210.00. Um, with the 30% discount, if I bought all five, it would be $63 off. I believe I do have a couple of credits, so I might have like a $20 credit. However, they don't tell you who used your credit. So if you used my referral code, thank you so much. I will have another one on this video. Um, you can find all of my referral codes in the info box below this video. If you click on the little down arrow next to the video title, you'll see the information box and you'll find all my referral codes for every subscription box that I get and fashion will be in there. So the total for everything, if I kept all five and got the 30% discount would be $147, which is a great deal. I mean, for five items, that's a great deal, but I can't keep all five. So, I mean, I could, but that pink and white striped top just wouldn't work for me. So anyway, I'm thinking the three. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your opinions. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I love having you guys along on these try-ons. I feel like I am in the dressing room with friends and you're letting me know how you feel about things. So thank you so much. I always appreciate your feedback. If you like this video, please hit that like button and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>